What's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to our channel Total Technology Zone and today's topic will be how to load HTML file using Langchain document loader so the title itself very straightforward so I hope you guys already understood what exactly I'm trying to do so basically I'll try to actually load HTML file using Langchain document loader and while doing so I'll be going to show you guys two approach one is actually using unstructured HTML loader and one is actually beautiful soup loader if someone is already uh, uh, having a little bit experience on Python and know how to scrape HTML or website or any URL then definitely you guys know there is a Python module called beautiful soup so Langchain it has a small implementation or API kind of a thing of beautiful soup so using that also you can very fast um, load any HTML files okay so this sort of things are going to help you to develop some sort of utility so see i know how to so you can ask yourself that you know now how to actually load markdown file text file html file excel file python file lots of files are there right so uh, so whenever you are going to build some sort of utility this small small piece you have to actually add together and or sum up together and after that you can create a large scale application right so these things are actually going to help you to understand what exactly Langchain can do what are the capabilities of Langchain how, and how can you how, how you can actually utilize those capabilities okay so without wasting much time on the theory or just talking let's move ahead with the coding so I have a file HTML file sample HTML file here and actually I'll try to um, load the sample HTML file using our code okay so for that so just write down the code so Langchain okay dot document loaders import uh, maybe I can just do it unstructured unstructured HTML loader and I'll be just going to do uh, BS beautiful soup HTML loader okay so loader equals to unstructured HTML loader and then file path in the file path, I'm just going to write down the name sample. It's very simple sample.html, right? And after that, what I'll do, I'll just create the docs equals to loader.load like this. And after that, I can just write print docs, okay. Okay. Okay, so I got so many information here, right? This is very simple, so you can easily see uh, whatever is written in the document that actually came. Okay, so now if you want to imp uh, load the same thing using beautiful soup, maybe you can actually do something. But before that, let me Adios, open amigo. this thing. Powering and on. so, like this. Okay, right? So now we'll be going to do the same thing using. Uh, loading HTML files using uh, unstructured HTML loader okay and here it will be done using beautiful soup loader okay bsh bshtml loader okay so let's do it now so basically how to do it so maybe I just copy this code or maybe I can just change this part here so basically this line will be only going to be changed so just copy the entire line here okay and I'll just write one more line here okay and you can just do bs html loader okay and just comment this line because I don't need, need this line anymore okay and let's do it again okay so this tutorials are very straightforward okay 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 so it's done now the question is actually if you have multiple HTML files how you actually are going to do it okay so that is also you can do it just hold on uh, copy okay so just remove this part okay so maybe what i'll do i'll just copy this file again multiple times paste paste okay so i make this file multiple times so now what i'll do i'll just going to do it using directory html loader uh, directory loader directory loader okay and after that what we'll do 
I'll be going to actually uh, just come in this line again here or like this so it will be again copy here okay oh sorry okay so and then it will be like this directory loader and so basically you have to give the path path is actually my current path so current path is actually for that we need to import the OS module import OS okay and uh, it should be OS dot get current working directory like this and then glob equals to uh, star star slash star dot html okay and let's see whether it is able to actually do it or not so if you have multiple file you can do it but maybe uh, i don't know whether it will fail or something but let's see yes it's not getting fail but there is another thing just to make sure that it is it is it is actually loading the correct html content so basically there is something called loader class and maybe there you can actually mention uh, this thing bs html loader hopefully this will make sure that it is uh, it will load the html contents properly yes it's very fast as well see it's very fast lightning fast and now if i just remove this thing see i'll remove this thing and i'll do it see now i'll do it by removing this thing see i'll just remove and it is taking some time here see right because it is by default if you do not mention any loader class it will actually uh, do it uh, using unstructured html unstructured unstructured text loader and but here the moment that i put this thing it will be lightning fast means means within a second it will do see i just click it and did it right so always make sure whenever you are going to actually uh, using uh, whenever you are going to load a specific type of file try to actually change the loader class by default it is always going to use the unstructured loader but if you are suppose you are reading an html file then try to actually use html loader if you are going to use text file text loader so something like that okay so i believe uh, this is going to help you guys to do it so let me actually copy this thing okay okay so maybe duplicate slide load uh, html files from from a directory okay and this is the code okay because i want to to give you guys the code as well so that you can practice okay so let me save it and i can conclude the video okay guys so that's it so you guys now know how to actually load html files how to load multiple html files from a directory and how to actually um, do the loading job very fast kind of a lightning fast right so all of all, all these things are clear so now i can conclude this video but before i conclude this video guys if someone is watching this channel or uh, watching to this uh, tutorial for the first time or if someone is very new to our channel guys please subscribe to our channel hit the bell notification so you should not miss the uh, future updates whenever i post some videos and also you can see this is a 25th tutorial so before this tutorial i already posted more than uh, i already posted 24 tutorial so please go ahead with my channel and search for langchain complete tutorial there will find all the tutorials from the tutorial ones and this is highly recommend that you should watch all this tutorial from the beginning because if your objective is actually become a ai developer or do something in the llm or langchain or language model um, uh, in this domain actually then please try to uh, watch the series from the beginning this will definitely help you and you will enjoy the series and last but not least guys please subscribe try to subscribe to our channel and also try to share our videos with your family and friend or also make them uh, or encourage them to try to subscribe to our channel because our ultimate objective is to actually lead, uh, lead larger audience base because uh, or viewers because ultimately the viewers and audiences are actually going to help us to grow slowly and uh, one subscription from your side is actually going to make a lot of difference so this is a request or uh, kind of an humble request or personal request please do consider this thing we really need your support to grow in this area okay 
and last but not least don't just watch our videos once you watch watch the videos once you finish the finish watching the videos just try to write down some codes cause the same way i'm actually teaching you the same way if you write down the codes then only it is actually going to give you some sort of motivation and also this will help you to build the confidence and with the confidence you can actually think uh, something different and you can actually extend or customize this use case so that you can actually become an expert in this area okay so don't forget to write down the code okay okay enough of talking guys we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice day